Here we have another Comptometer. Better products to better business. And this is a Model 992. It's an electric version of the Model 3D11. Let's plug it in first. This machine looks just like a manual computometer, except that the keys are all at the same height and the key stems are quite short. This machine was advertised as having a floating touch. Basically, you can press a key very lightly and it will still work. The electric motor is very quiet. You can only just about hear it run if I keep a, the key pressed down. Clearing is with this lever, that doesn't involve the motor. Let's uh, try adding some numbers. There we go, 3330. Notice how the zero is visible as a, a filled in zero and the zeros that are not used are all blank. So if I say add one here, all these zeros appear. The windows here are colored, uh, white and yellow the same as the key columns. In between these digits you have uh, decimal markers, you can uh, uh, move one to make a, a point appear there, a decimal point. The uh, carry uh, suppression buttons, they can uh, stick down, so you can use this one-handed uh, and this gets cleared when you clear the register as well. It's only in the starting position that they don't stick down but that doesn't matter, you're not going to do a subtraction straight away. So if I want to subtract one, I press down this one and add 99. That subtracts one. This machine still has this uh, button the, and the uh, uh, the safety mechanism that protects you against uh, partial uh, entries. That's a bit silly to still have this on an electric machine, but basically the mechanism is virtually the same as the manual machine. So if you press down only slightly, then all the other keys lock up and you can still then press this button to complete the addition and now that one is locked up as well and you can release it by pressing this button. This safety mechanism has been in these comptometers since uh, about 1913 and uh, that was the Model E. So that was the Comptometer Model 3D11992. Thank you for watching.